Hey, I'm the math assistant. I'm gonna be helping you with your fractions today. So first off, we're gonna start off um, with addition. Before we go into addition, um, let me uh, review what fractions are. Fractions are something like this: one over three. I'm sure you've seen it before. Two over three. Blah blah blah. Um. There are different kinds of um, fractions. Um, these ones are called proper, proper fractions, and mixed fractions are with holes and then a fraction. Improper is when the numerator, this, is greater than the denominator, which is it. Um, um, if you know about this, then um, it should be fairly easy to do addition and subtraction in fractions. So I'm going to start off with the easy question today. 2 over 3 plus 4 over 5. Now this should be a fairly easy question. Um, so you have to change the denominators to be the same. So 3 and 5 common denominators are, is 15 and now to bring it to 15 3 times 5 and now you have to do the same thing that you did to the denominator to the numerator so two, 3 times 5 now you do 2 times 5 which is 10 10 over 15 now you have to do the same thing here 5 turning into 15 so 5 times 3 is 15 and then 4 times 3 so 5 times 3 equals 15 4 times 3 equals 12 and the answer should bring you to 2 2 so 22 over 15 and that as you can see is an improper fraction and in fractions we do not leave it in a improper fraction we change it back to a mixed fraction which would be 1, 7 over 15. So, the basic the easy way to check it over again is 15 times 1 equals 15, and then 15 plus 7 equals 22. So, which equals this 22. So, it's correct. Now, if you want to go on to a harder question, uh, say it's 1, 2 over 3 plus 2. 4 over 5, you have to change it into an improper fraction to make it easier to add. And how you do that is what, what I showed you over here at the top. So you multiply 3 times 1 and then plus 2, which equals 5 over 3. Plus 5 times 2 equals 10, 10 plus 4 equals 14 over 5. And now, all you have to do is the same thing you did over here, which is change the denominators to be the same. The common denominator is 15. So 3 times 5 equals 15. And then you have to do the same thing over here. 5 times 5 equals 15. I mean 25. Sorry. Um, plus, and then you have to change this into 15. 5 times 3 equals 15. And 14 times 3 equals 42. Now you add them together and you get your answer of 67 over 15. And you have to change it into a uh, mixed fraction now, which is 4 times 15 equals 60. So 5 times 4 is 15 times 4 equals 60. 60 plus 7 equals 67, which is that. So it's correct. Now, we're going to be going on to subtraction, but if you have any questions about addition, which I'm sure many of you guys have, um, just ask me below in the comment section. So now we're going to go on to subtraction. Subtraction is fairly the same thing as addition. So say you have the equation 2 
over 3, like 6 over 12 minus 3 over 12. This is fairly simple because you have the denominators are the same. So all you have to do is subtract the top. 6 minus 3 equals 3. So it's 3 over 12. But now what you have to do to get full marks is to reduce it. And how you reduce it is um, if they're both um, divisible by each other, then uh, you have to reduce it. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1 over 4. So that's a reduced fraction. And now if um, the denominators aren't the same, so say it was 5 over 6 minus 2 over 3, you have to change the denominators to be the same. And over here, uh, the common denominator is 6. So now you don't, you don't have to change this. You just have to change this. So straight 5 over 6 minus 3 times 2 equals 6. And then you did the same thing at the top. 3 times 2 equals 4. Now you subtract it. 5 minus 4 equals 1 over 6. And that brings your answer. So as I said before, it's fairly simple. So now um, for the last one, we're going to do the mixed fraction. So 2, 3 over 5 minus 1, 2 over 3. It's the same thing as addition as, as I said before. Um, you have to change it into an uh, improper fraction. So 5 times 2 equals 10. 10 plus 3 equals 13. So it's 13 over 5. Minus 3 times 1 plus 2 which equals 5 over 3. Now you, now you have to change the denominators to be the same. So it's basically that now. Um, the common denominator is 15. So 5 times 3 equals 15. So you do the same thing at the top. 13 times 3 equals 39. Now, you have to do the same thing for this. So 3 times 5 equals 15. And then 5 times 5 equals 25. And now your answer, 39 minus 25 should equal 14 over 50, which is honestly correct. Now, sometimes addition and subtraction questions can be quite hard, so um, if you have any questions, um, please comment below. And if you have anything else that you have trouble with in math, um, just ask below, and I'll try to reach as quickly as I can. And, um, yeah, uh, multiplying and dividing fractions is my next video, so just wait a little while for my next video to come. Um, thanks, I hope this, um, helped you, and...